Aloha, my name is uh, Dupo and I'm giving this presentation based on the article that I read and its title is Teaching What We Hold to Be Sacred and it is by John I. Goodle. About the author, John I. Goodle uh, was a professor at uh, the University of Washington and he was also the president of the Institute for Education and current founder of the Center of Educational Renewal at also the University of Washington. And for numbers of years, he was a dean at the Graduate School of Education in UCLA. And um, another thing about him was that he was known as one of the of America's advocates and expert on education renewal. So basically, this topic, um, this article is based on uh, racism and social classes. And so to start off with is this one, uh, there was a man named Alison Davis and he was the first person from the field of education to be elected to the Amer American Academy of Arts and Sciences and another historical thing about him was that he became the first African American to have a major position in a white university. Uh, which is the University of Chicago and so um, Davis had did a research on the effect of colored state uh, system in the U in the US society and so um, um, in his research he found that there are effects of color state system in the US society and there's the first one is uh, racism causes social inequality and so um, because of people identifying others because of their colors, it causes inequality among people. And a, a great example for this is um, the black people um, were only educated based on their own cultures and not on, uh, they're not, uh, other cultures are not taught to them. So what this does is that it gives their knowledge limited and they doesn't allow them to grow. And um, another one is they attempt to rank people. Uh, people be were being ranked uh, ranked it according to their brain size and also by their IQ test but this is wrong as well now and so these are uh, two main effects of color state system in the US society and uh, there were some people who didn't want racism to happen um, basically because uh, two main reasons was because of rationally uh, this was logic not to happen and the other one was divine which was of God and uh, there were also people who believed that uh, the purpose of human existence is that for humans to be able to be interconnected with one another and, and so um, this, these are a reason that were given why there, should, there shouldn't be any racism and um, it was also brought to the school to have a part in playing to stop racism and so the role of the school in um, doing so is first of all is that the school should teach kids about um, equality and social justice so that kids will be able to know uh, what to do when it comes um, when they grow up and go into society and also uh, kids were to prov be provided with equal education opportunities um, no matter how different they are or their diversity but they should be provided equal education and um, the last one was that kids, uh, it was noticed that kids learn more from the out, uh, outside environment than, than from school because kids spend most of their time out of school. And so I bring this diagram over here, the triangle here. Um, we see understanding on top and on the bottom is like a foundation, the in-school learning and the out-of-school learning. And so I bring this that out-of-school learning and in-school learning goes together. and if we take out the out of school learning part the triangle won't be able to stand it will fall and if we take out the in learning part the same thing will happen and so we see here how it needs both um, in school and out of school uh, learning to make understanding happen and uh, moving on beyond social uh, case uh, these are other things that were needed to be done. Uh, first of all, a solution that was provided to solve social inequality was education. Um, education was the only is the only way to uh, help kids uh, and people uh, put away 
which also need equality and also another thing was that uh, it was needed for teachers to teach students about uh, the idea of democrat democracy and social need uh, social equality because it would give uh, give them opportunity and also give them opportunity to practice it in their daily life and another thought that I bring to mind was that formal education plus informal education makes a morally grounded democratic behavior and so we see how education is really important um, to do away with social um, case and um, not the in conclusion I bring this quote here from um, I bring this directly from the article and it says we all belong to one species, humankind. There is only one ongoing on the conversation, the human conversation, consisting of the work, play, parenting, conversion, and imagining in which we all engage and of the beliefs, hopes, and inspirations that we hold. So here we see that people are equal. It's just um, other people who identify them and rank them, but we should all be equal and should um, and should do everything as one and shouldn't put a wall in between us because of our colors but we should be one and that is all thank you very much